Hello, welcome back to Citizen Pew. This is Citizen Pew Commentary, and today, as you saw in the thumbnail, I'm going to be talking about this guy right here. This is the Athlon. Uh, it is a Midas TSR3 Red Dot Sight. Uh, like I said, by Athlon. Um, yeah. And I tell you what, uh, this thing, this thing is awesome, and I'll tell you a little bit how I was exposed to it here in a minute, but uh, I have some of my YouTube approved mags. Uh, I just did a verification that my home set up, you know, I sat it in at the house, made sure it was good. So I'm going to try it freestanding now. Got one of my uh, YouTube approved 10 round mags. Let's just go ahead and knock some out and then we'll talk about this optic right here. So, all right. Boom. Ah, here we go. Got a pig over there, a metal pig. I Hopefully the other camera will pick it up. Here it is. all right <laughs> i really like this optic i really do and let me let me open this box here i should have pulled this out before so on most of my ar carbines i have something like this a romeo this is a sig romeo right here and as i'm getting older uh my eyesight just ain't as good as it used to be and this athlon here uh yeah, it's it's a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. You can see right there. Yep, a little bit bigger. But I tell you what, for me, this wider field of view, I can still keep I can still keep both eyes open. And man, it's just I mean it's it makes a world of difference for me. Like I said, I'm getting older. I'm I'm almost 50 now, and it has been. Uh, it has been very tasking uh, to get used to my eyes uh, wearing out. So anyhow, uh, I was at, let me tell you how I got this thing. We're gonna shoot some more ammo, so let me tell you how I got it. So uh, one of my FFLs uh, became an Athlon distributor recently, and they also managed some NFA items for uh, some of their customers uh, that go to shows and stuff and, and demonstrate their products. And so he had just finished uh, putting together a suppressed full auto SBR, and uh, and he asked me if I wanted to try it out. I was like, uh, "Yeah, I do." <laughs> so anyhow, uh, we went out to his uh, backside of his property where he, you know he he practices and tests stuff out, and uh, and I tell you what, man, the thing was awesome, especially in full auto. And um, yeah, so anyhow, anyhow, before I ramble on and bore you to death it had this athlon optic on it and i was just i just was like holy cow that thing is awesome so i told him i said order me one and this right it's a little over two i think with tax and everything it, it's like 220 or something like that which isn't bad it isn't bad at all and i tell you what i i like it i like it a lot i set it up at the house brought it here it was almost dead on and um yeah at 100 yards and so uh, I'm gonna try the 200 yards and stuff like that. But if you're not familiar with Athlon, I have a couple Athlon scopes on some of my bolt actions, but this is my first Athlon red dot and uh, I'm already liking it, I really am. So let me know what your thoughts are on Athlon if you have any Athlon products um, or if you have this optic, I'd be interested to know what your thoughts are and stuff like that. Anyhow, um, let's go ahead and shoot another mag off. I'll shoot a couple at the pig. And then I got two silhouettes down there at 200 yards. We'll see if we can hit those. And then I'll tell you a little bit more about this optic as far as the specifications and stuff. So, all right, here we go. Bye, him. All right, here we go. Here's the pig. All right, all right, we're going to go 200 yards here. <laughs> if I could hold myself steady, I hit it a couple times. Let me go for the pig again a couple times, then we'll move back to 200. Ooh. 
Oh, I'm out. Whew. All right. I tell you what, though, uh, having the bigger uh, radius glass there, it just does a world of difference for me um, than, than those Romeos do. I like those things for the longest time. But like I said, uh, as my eyesight deteriorates, trying to keep both eyes open and focus on stuff, it, it's gotten harder. And uh, I, I was hoping, you know, after shooting uh, my FFLs, firearm with with this Optagon. I was really hoping I'd uh, you know after having it for a while would really like it This is the first time I've had it to the range and like I said just verifying my setup at the house I was like this is awesome. So I really sold on it. I am really sold on it um, And from his from what he said, it's been holding the zero. He's had it on his uh, rifle now for a while and uh, He says it's been holding the zero and I tell you what I have like I said, I have some Athlon scopes and uh they're they're great quality so i had no problem trusting an optic by athlon a, a red dot so anyhow uh, i have been shooting frontier ammo just so you know by the way uh yeah i had to break into my last case for uh for doing videos so i gotta get some more of that ordered anyhow i wanted to go some over some of the details so the athlon uh, you know, here's a little pamphlet for it and each of the uh, clicks on the settings is half mo and then the red dot itself is set up for it's a fixed one times magnification uh it has a two moa uh red dot so there you go yep and then um let's see here let's make sure yeah 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 athlon red dot sites have one half moa click value uh for the tsr3 so there you go so um yep and honestly something like a red dot like this um you know, I, I, this isn't something I would be uh, necessarily wanting to shoot 200 yards with. For me, uh, you know, out to 100, to 200 yards might be as far as I'd go with a optic like this. Uh, so, but I tell you what, from standing, if I was on a bench or, or I had a bipod on this thing, I'm guaranteeing you I could be hitting every shot on the 200 with this optic. I was doing it on the 100 yard uh, from the bench right, right over there in front of me uh, on the pig. So... But yeah, yeah, the true test though of, of talent, right, is is standing and shooting, right? I don't know, maybe. So <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. All right. I want to do a dump though. I'm going to do a dump at the pig. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, I got a couple hits at 200 yards. Uh, but now that I have this thing on, I definitely I'm going to bring out my my uh, stands and stuff and get some more practice in with it. I'm really liking it. So uh, let's just do a mag dump at the pig. All right, here we go. Wait. All right. That was awesome. All right. So there you go. Um, anyhow, I put this thing, just so you know, uh, I put this uh, Athlon on my DB15. This is kind of my AR that I use to try out things and test things and stuff like that. So it has a little bit of uh, stuff on here that, I don't know, uh, I, I, I either moved I didn't move it to another gun or I haven't moved it to another gun yet if I like it. So, um, but it's kind of my testing gun and that's why I put it on here. Um, it's, you know, I picked this up a few years back. I mean, back when it was like five ninety nine dollars or something like that. So, um, it's been a good, decent testing gun. Yep. I like it. Um, holds up really well, but you know, this is, uh, yeah. And if you want the details on what I have on this thing, just put a comment down there. I'll tell you what I got on it. So anyhow, um, this is the Athlon, uh, the Midas TSR-3 Athlon right here. Bam. And they have a gold medal lifetime warranty on these things. So there you go. So if you're somebody who's, who's uh, you know, big on the warranties, that's what they say. So, but uh, I'll definitely be practicing with this a lot more and uh, getting some use out of it. So... Hopefully at the end of the year, then I can do a final review video on it, talk about the longevity of it. But um, yeah, I, I just really like it, you know, especially, you know, let me know, you know, if you, you know, you know, some of those smaller optics that my eyes just can't do it anymore, where, where I could keep both eyes open and be fine. I just can't do it. I need 
this is this is great because it gives me a, a wider window and it doesn't take up much more you know the framing of this thing doesn't take up much more than than like one of those romeo dots does or anything like that so anyhow let me know your thoughts on it i'm really liking it and like i said out of the box it was almost set up i had to do a little bit of laser setup at the house and um yeah uh but i came out here and it was pretty much on target i think i made like two 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 twists on the uh windage and nothing on the the on the uh up and down so yep and i was pretty satisfied with it so all right i'm rambling let me know your thoughts on this let me know your thoughts on the athlon brand and this particular optic especially if you have one or something like that or if you have anything that athlon makes i'd be interested to know your thoughts uh don't forget you can go check me out on instagram where i sometimes post pics if they let me of things i took to the range uh i'm also on x or twitter uh whatever you want to call it and then um i'm on uh rumble also where i post videos there that youtube doesn't allow me to post here and uh, i have a web page assistapew.com where you go it just has a bunch of good information i revamped it for the year for this year and i plan on trying to get some more stuff out there it's all it's a web app right now you can't do the app like a phone you can't get to it on your phone you have to go on a browser right now i'm still trying to get the uh like the the phone version working well so anyhow uh, a lot of work going on at the at the, in my little uh studio there trying to get stuff going so anyhow that's my video. Let me know your thoughts. And uh, like I said, put a comment down in the comment section. Other than that, y'all have a good day.